wedding photography. It's all about making the bride look beautiful. I've been waiting for this for so long. It's going to be a very special day. And then you want to tell the story because if you dig deep enough, every wedding does have a little bit of uniqueness to it. From the moment I've met her, I've, I've, I've fallen in love with her and she's the only one. I'm going to tell her that again today. I'm going to tell her that for the rest of my life. Weddings, you have to be a portrait photographer, a landscape photographer, a macro photographer. The 42.5 is a phenomenal lens. The look it gives is absolutely beautiful. This is so flipping good. If I was able to capture every image I wanted to with that lens, that probably would stay on my camera the whole day too. I love the 12 to 60 because it's a great utility lens. You can shoot wide and even 60, if you use your feet to zoom, you can get almost every shot you need with that lens. I work with two bodies at weddings and that lens stays on one body the whole day. One of the tricks I have is I shoot all in manual mode. It's difficult to expose for a bride's dress because it's usually a white or just off-white. So what I do is I go in close and I take an exposure reading off the dress and I expose typically one to one and a third stops overexpose. When you back up and shoot, it's amazing. It's a perfectly exposed image. Many times I'm walking around with my hand in front of me looking for light. We are in Southern California, so most weddings here do take place outdoors. And sometimes it is hard to find nice soft light in the shade. If I find an area that works with beautiful light, and especially the colors in this room, I tend to work it a lot. And just one thing leads to another to another, and we end up capturing a lot of great images. I'm really excited now that the GH5 has two card slots. Now I can write RAW to one and JPEG to another and have a built-in backup on the camera. These cameras now have no low-pass filter, so the sharpness is actually crazy in these cameras. I'm gonna be honest, I am not a spring chicken anymore. I'm not quite as, like, stable. The other thing I love to do is drink maybe five cups of coffee before a wedding, so I'm pretty amped up, and I think the dual stabilization really helps me be able to shoot at a lower shutter speed. And the big advantage is, is I can keep the ISO down a stop or two and now have less noise in my images and still capture great photos. And in the view of LA, how can you beat that? It's pretty awesome. Isn't that cool? I love that all of LA is showing. Too. Look at that. I think I got everything I need and then some. It's been an amazing venue with amazing light. Um, we've had a great makeup artist. Just the whole team was phenomenal. He's such a pleasure to be around. He sees things that we, I mean, we'll look at the pictures and have no idea of the color scheme that he sees and it's just amazing to watch his work. These cameras are half the weight and half the size of traditional cameras. And when you're doing 35 weddings a year or back-to-back -back weddings and you're lugging around a lot of gear, I used to call it wedding hangover the day after a wedding, I don't have it anymore. Panasonic.